In this video, you'll have a realistic look at how artificial intelligence will change medicine and healthcare. We are currently on the verge of a technological revolution. In the coming years, man-made brain power will undoubtedly affect pretty much every industry and try everlastingly changing the way we live and work. What's more, the field of medication is no special case. Does that mean we're making a beeline for a reality where, in the event that we become ill, we're seen by automated specialists and medical attendants? All things considered. Actually no, not actually. We may in the long run have the option to surrender absolute control to different sorts of AI, say. Driverless vehicles, however, medication will consistently require some type of human oversight. The most ideal future for medication is one in which people and calculations are each ready to utilize their novel qualities and work together to improve understanding consideration and well-being frameworks. At some point, AI might have the option to make precise and complete medical appraisals. However, Humans will be required to conduct the evaluations and form strong, trusting relationships with patients that are sorely lacking today. In these chapters, you'll learn how AI saved a newborn's life, how AI can foresee misery utilizing your cell phone, and medical services require a move from shallow medication to profound medication. Robert was a genuinely sound 56-year-old. Be that as it may, one evening, he encountered what specialists call a ministroke, his face went numb, and he started experiencing difficulty seeing. His PCP advised him to keep taking a headache medicine each day, as he had been previously unsatisfied with this solution. Robert went to see a nervous system specialist, who at that point alluded him to a cardiologist. That is the point at which he discovered that he had a patent for Raymond Avail, or PFO, a small opening in the divider isolating two of his heart's chambers. The cardiologist asserted that this condition was the reason for Robert's ministroke and that he required a medical procedure to close the hole in his heart. However, Robert wasn't so certain. The main message here is, medical services require a move from shallow medication to profound medication. In the wake of seeing the principal cardiologist, Robert came to see the creator, Eric Topol, likewise a cardiologist, briefly assessed. Topol was stunned by the first evaluation. One of every five grown-ups has PFO, and the condition isn't associated with strokes. So he and Robert cooperated to decide Robert's main problem and discovered it was atrial fibrillation, which can be treated with basic blood more slender. Robert's circumstance represents what Topol calls shallow medication, in which wore out, discouraged specialists don't set aside the effort to grow genuine associations with their patients and make all-encompassing appraisals. Normal center visits in the United States. For example, last only 7 minutes. Maybe. Therefore, there are around 12 million critical misdiagnoses every year the nation over, and up to 33% of medical activities performed are pointless. Patients are enduring, however. So are the individuals who treat them. One of every for youthful doctors encounters despondency. And practically 50% of the American specialists today have indications of burnout. This condition enormously builds the danger of medical mistakes and even prompts doctor suicides. To address these issues, we should begin the move from shallow medication to profound medication. This move happens in three crucial manners. To begin with, medication will expect doctors to profoundly characterize every person with however much of their significant individual and well-being history as could reasonably be expected. Second, it will require profound learning with respect to man-made reasoning to enlarge specialists' symptomatic capacities and robotize tedious undertakings. Lastly, Profound medication will expect specialists to rehearse profound compassion, considering patients to be genuine individuals, not similarly as issues to be analyzed. Man-made reasoning could extraordinarily profit medical services, however. It has its limits. Man-made consciousness and medication may seem like a piece of some inaccessible future, however. Truth be told, it's now being utilized to save lives. In one case, a solid child kid returned home three days after birth. After five days, his mom hurried him to the trauma center of Rady Children's Hospital in San Diego. The infant was encountering steady seizures that were just deteriorating, as things were looking hopeless. An example of the kid's blood was taken to the lab for quick entire genome sequencing. In only 20 seconds, AI handled the kid's whole medical record. At that point, AI calculations filtered through the information, in the end hitting upon one uncommon hereditary variation that could be causing the kid's seizures. Treating him with nutrient B6 and arginine enhancements could abrogate this current quality's belongings. The main message here is, man-made reasoning could extraordinarily profit medical services, however, it has its limits. On account of this treatment, 
and the quick work of AI, the infant seizures finished. He's currently alive and well. Be that as it may, prior to waxing to Rhapsodic about AI's abilities, it is fundamental to think about its constraints. Most importantly, AI relies altogether upon the nature of its information, this is everything it can use to learn and make forecasts. Most AI works with organized information that is normalized and accessible. Medical information, in any case, is frequently unstructured in story and nature. Erroneous or off-base marks can undoubtedly meddle with a calculation's yield. Additionally, AI isn't imaginative, it can't conjure up new answers for issues. Once, Topol was treating a 70-year elderly person experiencing outrageous exhaustion. A court filter uncovered that his correct coronary conduit had been limited by 80%. Topal was confused since this issue doesn't ordinarily cause such extreme exhaustion. He clarified the circumstance and offered to place a stent in the impeded corridor, which the patient consented to. On the actual night of his activity, the patient could walk a few blocks without feeling exhausted. He announced that he felt more grounded and beyond anyone's imagination. A PC calculation would never have suggested that strategy since there were no points of reference for this current man's particular circumstance. Current AI has some basic impediments that won't ever permit it to completely supplant human specialists. Be that as it may, it can in any case extraordinarily advance medication. Doctors can utilize AI to help improve their determinations. Numerous individuals consider specialists faultless, practically superhuman. In any case, much the same as every other person, specialists can have certain predispositions that cause blunders in both diagnostics and treatment. Take the representativeness heuristic. A predisposition that makes individuals settle on choices dependent on their past encounters. It may lead a specialist to misdiagnose one disease for another particularly on the off chance that he isn't cautiously analyzing the entirety of a patient's side effects. Maybe much more treacherous is the presumptuousness inclination which makes doctors accept their judgments are right more regularly than they really are. These predispositions become possibly the most important factor when individuals use instinct to make snap decisions as specialists regularly do when diagnosing patients. It can require long stretches of involvement to decrease the effect of these predispositions. Or, maybe, the assistance of AI. The main message here is, doctors can utilize AI to help improve their determinations. What do you do when you're encountering side effects however don't have the foggiest idea about the reason? No doubt. You go to Google or an online fact checker. There are a ton out there, however. They aren't especially precise right now. A 2015 investigation of 23 online fact-checkers found that solitary 34% of them could think of the right finding. Right now, it's hard for machines to make extensive, comprehensive findings. However, they do well when diagnosing explicit sorts of ailments. Take the Facetwo gene application, which can help analyze in excess of 4,000 distinctive hereditary conditions by perceiving specific facial highlights related to them. A little over half of the medical geneticists and hereditary advocates are now utilizing the application in their training. To utilize AI for medical diagnostics, we should change the training into an information-driven science. This will require a huge measure of data to be gathered on every person. In a perfect world, beginning from the pre-birth stage and proceeding all through the aggregate of our lives, obviously, information assortment on a mass scale raises substantial concerns. In the event that they approach definite information about patients, insurance agencies could utilize AI investigation to parcel individuals dependent on their well-being hazards and make steep contrasts and inclusion rates for higher hazard patients. Without a doubt, government guidelines will be important to forestall these maltreatments of patient information. In any case, we shouldn't allow the worries to exceed AI's expected commitments. In the following chapters, we'll take a look at how AI can help explicit sorts of medication. Diagnostics dependent on pattern acknowledgement could take advantage of AI. Have you ever gone to a specialist who scarcely even took a look at you during your visit, who rather invested the vast majority of her energy composing notes into a PC, provided that this is true? She was presumably refreshing your electronic well-being record or EHR. EHRs were created to make clinicians live simpler, all things being equal. They've become an obstruction to specialist persistent correspondence, luckily. Things like the EHR are ready for computerization. A sort of AI called natural language processing might actually be utilized to tape and decipher all the words traded during a specialist visit. Doing so would save specialists time so they could zero in rather than on the individual sitting before them. Handling enormous measures of information is AI's definitive ability. Also, there are a few kinds of expert specialists who could genuinely profit from it. The main message here is, diagnostics dependent on pattern acknowledgement could take advantage of AI, consistently. 
to billion chest X beams are performed around the world. These outputs can be hard to peruse. Given that scarring or felt lung tissue can cloud different issues. In any case, AI with its capacity to rapidly measure and decipher terabytes of picture information might actually peruse these outputs with a serious level of exactness. One investigation prepared an AI calculation to group more than 50,000 chest X beams as one or the other ordinary or unusual, utilized broadly. This calculation alone could assist radiologists with figuring out which outputs merit a more intensive look and which don't, with all the time saved. Radiologists could perform other significant work, such as talking straightforwardly to patients something very uncommon in current practice, at the point when utilized in pairs with human radiologists. Calculations can help accomplish more prominent demonstrative exactness than possibly one working alone. This is additionally valid for pathology and dermatology. Pathologists who decipher tests of human tissue to analyze illness can take advantage of pathi an instrument for investigating slides. This instrument brags a mistake rate of 2.9% all alone. Yet when working with a human pathologist, that number drops to simply 0.5%. In dermatology, there's a somewhat extraordinary issue. The U.S. has moderately not many rehearsing dermatologists. So around 66% of all skin conditions get analyzed by essential consideration doctors all things being equal. Subsequently, blunder rates are amazingly high. Here, machines could step in to analyze explicit skin conditions. Truth be told, one 2017 paper has just verified that a calculation can beat dermatologists at grouping disease and distinguishing melanoma. Specialists who don't fundamentally work with examples could assign some standard errands to AI. Calculations flourish with information the more and more extravagant. The better, all things considered. It's from this information that they recognize designs and decides answers. Quite a bit of what goes on in the medical climate. Nonetheless, doesn't include designs. Specialists are continually making evaluations, making plans, and speaking with patients and their families. So where does AI fit in? Indeed, we realize that current AI works best when it's applied to limit works rather than expensive ones. What's more? There are absolutely a lot of restricted capacities engaged with the regular day-to-day -day existences of most specialists. The main message here is, specialists who don't fundamentally work with examples could assign some standard errands to AI. There is a wide range of kinds of specialists who remain to profit from AI. In any case, for the present, how about we simply take a look at cardiologists? A new profound learning neural organization has been demonstrated to analyze coronary failures at around 90% exactness. Different advancements are additionally useful with regard to estimating heart cadence. One gadget. The Rhythm Zeofix is a band-aid-like gadget that is set on the chest. Inside it is a chip that catches data about all of the wearer's pulses for 10 to 14 days. With this data, cardiologists can all the more effectively evaluate heartbeat abnormalities and different issues. Changing pulse and cadence into computerized data is a certain something. It's considerably more hard to do likewise for an individual's psychological state. However, AI can likewise be utilized to help emotional wellness experts and individuals with psychological well-being trouble. Numerous variables. Remembering the expense and accessibility of therapists for a specific locale. Keep individuals from looking for psychological well-being care. Psychological well-being chatbots. Notwithstanding, can give an attainable option in contrast to treatment in such cases. These chatbots regularly utilize intellectual social treatment or CBT, which is generally founded on the face-to-face -face discussions however can rather be brought to our gadgets. A few investigations have discovered that individuals even really like to talk about delicate, private matters with chatbots over real people, notwithstanding chatbots. AI can be utilized to help analyze psychological wellness conditions like depression, which more than 10% of individuals experience worldwide. One calculation called DeepMood. For example, had the option to anticipate misery with high precision just by studying a person's smartphone keyboard patterns. Up until now, we've taken a look at how AI can aid explicit kinds of medication, presently. How about we take a look at what it may mean for whole well-being frameworks? Artificial intelligence can help change well-being frameworks and improve scientific research. Will people consistently require emergency clinics? The appropriate response may appear glaringly evident. In any case, while the facts confirm that will generally require ICUs and trauma centers, standard medical clinic rooms may before long get outdated. One virtual clinic as of now exists in the United States. The Virtual Care Center in St. Louis. Medical caretakers and specialists work there and have individualized, brought in collaborations with patients, however. There is not single clinic bed in sight. 
The entirety of the clinic's patients is checked distantly, remaining either at home or in escalated care units. Artificial intelligence observation calculations in their rooms can identify conceivable cardiovascular breakdowns or sepsis and send alerts to clinicians. This virtual clinic is a peculiarity today, yet that may not be the situation for long. Artificial intelligence is probably going to change medical clinics as well as other well-being frameworks also. The main message here is, artificial intelligence can help change well-being frameworks and improve scientific research. Far-off checking will turn out to be progressively significant as more emergency clinics go virtual. And comparable innovation can be utilized to help seniors. For example, sensors implanted in an individual's floor can alarm staff on the off chance that they've fallen. Allowed that every night in an emergency clinic costs a normal of $4,700 anything that mitigates the monetary weight is welcome. Today, simply the expense of precise medical charging adds an astounding 25% to the cost of a trauma center visit unmistakably. AI could step in to reduce those expenses. Robotization may improve proficiency and work processes at clinics later on, yet it's now having an effect at the lab. Simulated intelligence has assisted researchers with opening the secrets of the human genome. Calculations have effectively recognized 2,500 qualities that add to or cause the indications related to a chemical imbalance. For example, furthermore, its helpfulness doesn't stop with just ID. AI can likewise be utilized to alter the human genome and wipe out infections like hemophilia and sickle cell weakness. Medication revelation is another significant use for AI. All things considered, there are undeniably more synthetic mixes conceivable than the number of particles in the whole nearby planetary group. One painkiller disclosure project utilized a calculation to limit a rundown of 3 million potential painkilling mixes down to only 23. In this way, AI can assist with a large part of the background work in medical services and research. It can likewise profit patients straightforwardly. Artificial intelligence could assist with customizing our medication and our weight control plans. Notwithstanding age, all people should take one specific kind of medication to endure. That medication is food. Since the time the times of the old Greek specialist Hippocrates, individuals have accepted that well-being and food go connected at the hip. While government organizations and individuals in the food business may contend they hold the way into a solid eating regimen, is a one-size-fits-all methodology even conceivable, given how organically and physiologically extraordinary we as a whole are, shouldn't our weight control plans mirror that? With the assistance of computerized reasoning, there may come a day when we get individualized sustenance suggestions and different types of customized medication. The main message here is, Artificial intelligence could assist with customizing our medication and our weight control plans. Exploration done at the Wiseman Institute of Science in Israel uncovers one way that people react distinctively to various food sources. Crunching a great many information focuses, including members' dietary propensities, actual work, and gut microbiome, an AI model had the option to distinguish 137 elements that could anticipate individuals' glycemic reaction. This is a proportion of how high an individual's glucose spikes in the wake of eating a specific food. After the calculation managed its job, 26 individuals were given customized diet plans custom-made to their anticipated glycemic reaction. They demonstrated essentially improved glucose reactions in the wake of eating contrasted in the benchmark group. That is significant since generous glycemic spikes have been related to the beginning of diabetes, heftiness, and coronary illness. Man-made consciousness like the one utilized in the Wiseman study can be utilized all the more comprehensively to give individualized eating routine plans. Different parts of our well-being could be also customized with the advancement of virtual medical partners we haul around in our pockets. A few advances like this as of now exist, yet they center around explicit regions. One application called Migraine Alert, for example, utilizes AI calculations to foresee a client's approaching headache with 85% exactness. This permits the individual to take protection quantifies rather than basically treating the headache whenever it's begun. At this moment, the measure of information needed to make a really thorough virtual medical aid is restrictive. We're far off from having the option to ask our refrigerator. What should I eat today? Right now, it could be ideal to zero in on smaller concerns. In our last chapter, we'll take a look at what human specialists can do notwithstanding the AI unrest. Computerizing medical capacities will permit specialists to zero in on patient consideration. At the point when the creator entered medical school in 1975, medical care offices and medical practices appeared to be more unique than they do today. Center arrangements were booked to last at least one hour for new patients and 30 minutes for bringing ones back. Notes from a visit were frequently transcribed in an individual's graph. Month-to-month -month efficiency reports for specialists didn't exist. Around then, 
There were less than 4 million medical care occupations in the entirety of the United States, and yearly medical care spending added up to under $800 per tolerance every year, paradoxically. Today, there are more than 16 million medical care occupations, and spending tops $11,000 per individual every year, as medical services have gotten increasingly more of a monetary undertaking. The human side of care has started to cease to exist, luckily. Man-made reasoning can possibly restore it. The critical message here is, automating medical capacities will permit specialists to zero in on patient consideration, with its capability to robotize certain work capacities. Man-made consciousness could help let loose an expected 25% of specialists in medical attendance time. This would consider a better work-life balance for them and for longer encounters with their patients. One examination took a look at the impacts of the length of home well-being visits for more than 60,000 patients. It found that for each extra moment a visit endured. The danger of readmission was decreased by 8%. Extra time can help doctors become more human, however it's by all accounts not the only factor. Sympathy is another. A survey of 960 for examinations found an authoritative connection between a specialist's capacity to identify positive medical results. The present normal medical experts. Be that as it may, get low scores on sympathy remainder tests. Luckily, considerations show that social preparation can help cultivate compassion. Furthermore, specialists should be available. They ought to listen deliberately and cautiously to patients, giving them their full focus. All things considered, specialists intrude on their patients only 18 seconds after the beginning of a visit. In doing as such, they deny patients the chance to be heard and perceived. Artificial intelligence will have the option to assume control over undertakings depending on crude knowledge, design acknowledgement, or enormous information blend. However, they'll always be unable to supplant the extraordinarily human characteristics of sympathy, trust, or empathy. It's the ideal opportunity for specialists to start effectively developing them. Final summary. The main message in these chapters. The medical business is customarily delayed to embrace new advances. Yet in the coming years, we will undoubtedly see an expanded presence of AI and well-being frameworks, medical practices, logical exploration, and customized medication. With the time and cost reserve funds, AI can give, specialists will have the option to and, undoubtedly, they should start to zero in their endeavors on supporting profound, compassionate associations with their patients. It's time we take the human side back to medication. You like what you hear? Check out other personal development or business books. This video was made possible by your support. It takes a very long time to make one of our videos. So thanks to your contributions to Patreon and watching our videos, we are slowly able to do more and more of them. If you want to help us out, check out the Patreon page. If you like the contents of this video, check out other books in the description and suggest what book we should cover next.